offensive and shocking new video tonight. A mother just inches away from being killed as a shootout breaks out in broad daylight. And this all happening in the Capitol View neighborhood that's just south of downtown Atlanta Tuesday afternoon. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy live there tonight and Jamie that mother is thankful to be alive. Rick, she really is. You can see just behind me, this is right where it happened. So this road here is where the shootout just took place. You can see this VW station, this VW SUV just here. That's where the mother was inches away from losing her life. Video captures the shocking moment. A shootout suddenly erupts in the Capitol View area. And only a stone's throw from a mother and her child. She literally was about 10 seconds away from being like, at the point. Neighbours described the scene as something out of the Wild West, their eyes not believing what was happening at two in the afternoon. Seconds before the shots are fired, the mother you see on your screen walks to get in her car where her young son is waiting at the cross section of Fairbanks Street and Genesee Avenue. A male person has also just delivered mail on the other side of the car. One of the shooters is riding in. At the other end of Genesee Avenue, police say three teenagers walk towards the car to then peel off and you see someone in a red cap pull a gun out of his jacket and begin firing. The man whose camera captured part of it says it's sheer luck his neighbour and her son survived. About as lucky as you can be. You know, like I've never seen that situation before, but yeah, that that's probably, yeah, as close as you've wanted as a parent. That's pretty bad. The mother, who didn't want to go on camera, still shaken from the whole ordeal, says she hasn't been able to sleep and it hasn't let her son play outside since it happened. You know, I've lived in the inner cities before. I've heard them, but yeah, I never thought that anybody would be so bold as to just do it in broad daylight. Now, those people involved in the shooting were also involved in other shootings around the area, according to police. And I also got to speak to a postal worker today who knows the postal worker who was working on that day. They said that they're still shaken and that postal workers in general know to watch out for shootouts that can happen like this. Live in Capital View, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News.